Greetings, this is Manu Walia from uh, Continuum Global Asset Management, bringing you the market commentary on August 11th. Uh, it's a very interesting day today. The markets are down about 220 points. Um, uh, in other words, about 2%, and the reasons are plain and simple. Uh, investors are worried about the U.S. double dip recession. They're worried about China's industrial production and economy slowing down. Uh, and hence, uh, markets have lost about 2%. Well, it's it's very ironic and interesting. If you rewind uh, to August 2nd, which is about a week ago, the markets were up 200 points or 2%. And the reasons were the same, but on the flip side. Um, uh, U.S. economy was expanding or expected to expand, getting out of the recession. Uh, China was doing well, they were consuming a lot of commodities, and above all, the European banks showed great earnings, um, hence expansion. Uh, in my opinion, I think this is a classic case of investor uh, illustration, the sentiment illustration of investor fear and greed. Well, having said that, I, I think that uh, we need to look at facts and we need to look beyond the uh, a quick up or down in the market because that obviously shows the aggregate human sentiment. The facts are that after majority of U.S. corporate and international corporate uh, earnings, we know that earnings have been robust both on the top line and the bottom line. In other words, profits have been great and so have been revenue growth. In addition to that, the S&P 500 companies, uh, their CEOs are very bullish and uh, factually, they have shown that the balance sheets have about one and a half trillion dollars in cash. Now that money can be used for uh, employing new people, that money can be used for R&D, for buying their, back their stock, what have you. In addition to that, if you look at the interest rates in the United States or globally, uh, they are at a very, very low levels historically uh, and that means that the cost of borrowing is very low. In addition to that, inflation is low. So I, I believe that the overall economic environment to do business is very, very conducive for growth. Obviously, there are some negatives like high unemployment in the United States, which is really flowing into um, the housing market and really the uh, the turnaround in the housing market will be hampered unless unemployment gets better. Um, having said that, uh, I believe that um, investors should look at what has happened over the last year. The markets have really turned around. We were down to 6,600 on the Dow. Now we're at about 10,300. Uh, plus or minus 200 points, which happens on a weekly basis. And the reason that has happened is because the economy has turned around and a lot of these uh, factors that I've mentioned are working positively. Uh, one of the suggestions that I can give to the U.S. government and the federal government is that instead of raising taxes uh, on people who make over $250,000, they should be looking at making the U.S. Uh, environment more conducive for um, for foreigners and domestic companies to, um, to basically project and export more to countries which are experiencing higher disposable incomes, uh, countries like China, India, Latin America, which we keep talking about. And, you know, instead of uh, penalizing uh, people who are actually contributing and paying taxes, they should maybe tax traders who are trading more and maybe put a 90% tax on, on a trade that happens uh, within uh, a week or you know 30 days. Anyways, that's just two cents from our side and uh, we still believe that international global investing would do well for investors who have patience and they can look beyond the quick and, and, and short-term volatility that the markets are showing. We truly believe that earnings will drive the markets forward. And as we said, we believe that markets have 14 to 20% over the next 12 to 18 months. So um, feel free to give us a call. Uh, you can get our contact information at www.cgamadvisor.com. 
Uh, once again, uh, thanks for listening in and happy trading.